So, good morning. I'm going to do a vlog today. Um, like, let me just show you. And I've got Reed on the run today, but I'm so tired because I'm still jet lagged. So, getting up at seven is hard. And I'm just so cold when I wake up. It's not even cold, my heater's on. Like, but I'm just, I got dressed in bed. This is what I used to do in school. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to do read on the run the first time in Belfast. I'm just like it could be just me by myself. So we'll see how that go we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, and you know the worst thing? Sorry, I haven't washed my face yet. Um I, f I can't find my AirPods. So I'll have to read on the run with no read. I got some hair earphones. Oh my god, it feels weird. But it's so pretty in Dublin. I just finished my run. Oh, I've run a long time. But guess what? I'm not going to Actually, one person came, but they came late and they just had to turn out. So, this is a good example that it doesn't really matter if you start something and it becomes, well, it's not really a big deal. This is me not making my deal about it. It's happened plenty of times. You just got to put yourself out there. So now I'm just going to do some work and I've already worked this morning and I never got to read this morning. I'm going to do a bit of work and then I'm going to meditate because I haven't meditated this morning either because I had, had to get up early for my run. Um, I'm loving my little work setup. So this is my little work setup. It's so cute. I have lots of recording and stuff to do. Emails, admin, my stuff and then I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. So... Here we are. I actually have a little time for my meeting because it was postponed uh, for half an hour. So I'm gonna do like a little yoga flow slash meditation on my bed, just because I never got to meditate this morning. So I'm just gonna do it. So I finally met Nicolette today, which is my nurturing Nick on Instagram, and she's also coming to the retreat. I'm very excited. We are very excited. <laughs> it's going to be top notch. Okay, guys, I know you probably didn't think this was going to be the angle right now, but I am in so much pain. I just took a random pain of, I don't know, endoclera, which is so annoying. Oh, God, it's so frustrating because... I'm already really blessed because I've been pain free for, well not pain free, but like I've been okay the last few weeks, like two weeks or so. But Jack coming up today. I feel like every time I see Jack I'm in pain and then he has to deal with it. And then I feel really bad and like he puts up with so much shit. I'm gonna buy him a present. I'm hoping that this is just like some sort of bloat. And then if I put my feet up and take a detox tea, it might go away and we'll be in sync. I need to get up and dry my hair because Jack's gonna be here and I'm gonna be like, no, I want to look pretty. Okay, I'm getting up. Oh, there's a strange one. Look, he's here. Looks so handsome. Catching up on the two Johnnies. Two Johnnies, what's your vibe? Freaky. Creeping you out? Freaky. It's good though. <laughs> Halfway through the second one. <laughs> what do you think of the two Johnnies? I think it's mad. I'm living for the drama though. <laughs> Today we are vlogging, but we're at a nice restaurant, but what's happening? I can only order three things because of my nut allergy. I know, we forgot that he's got a nut allergy and this is kind of like a Chinese. But you're not vibing, are you? We're we gonna have to no, get up and leave. It's only stir fries. We're gonna get up and leave. So we're in St. Anne's Square, but everyone was walking into this place then. So we didn't even look at the menu, we just went on head in. I could have probably had it, but it's all made in the same pan, so there is a risk. Like, so yeah, and like Jack is so allergic to tonight. peanuts that like, if he has it, like he's like, and we're not dealing with that. So we Every had to, we had to like get up too. and it was like, sorry, I can't, I have to go. So now we're just gonna choose one of these. But the thing is, there's no one lining up for anyone else. And they, and <laughs> why don't we go to the spice place maybe? That's or the dumpling or steak. 
<laughs> You're right now. I'm not uh, gonna die in this restaurant. But I, I panicked on that too, yeah, tapas. Panicked on tapas because he's not used to it. He's used to chicken or steak. Chicken or steak? That there is mad. There's hummus and. I didn't, he says it comes out in really tiny orders, so I don't even know what. You can't eat any. Oh, you I'm starving, like, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Have a drink, you'll be alright. I must try that. It's a bit feminine, but sure. You love a cocktail, why are you acting like you yeah, don't but use it's pink, like, it's called the pink summer. <laughs> is it tequila, eh? It is tequila, because I can see the salt. It does have really taste. It's like tradition. Oh, that's a bit of salt. It's very strong, though, know, but it's nice. It's the salt? I'll be drunk after that. You know I'm going to be drunk after that. What's this blanket? Day in the night. Day in the night, fish day in Hagerty. Only on the hour. Look at your hands, Dave. So now we're going to the cinema. We're going to see Top Gun. But um, Jack is acting like an airport boyfriend. You see them airport see boyfriends the on TikTok? No. It's, see, the movie starts right, it's half nine. It's start, it's like it says 6 30, but I'm just like, no, it doesn't start at 6 30. I'm not going to sit and watch the previews. <gasps> previews is so American. We get in, get the tickets, get the popcorn, get sat down, Shane, and we'll be fucking next. We must have started. And says your man, who literally came four hours late to my house today. How did I come four hours late to your house? <laughs> <laughs> We're late. We're not late. We are late. Sure. We're literally right on time. So all I want to say about the cinema is that it has Club Zero. Club Zero it makes all the difference. You know, don't you, Jack? If you're not from Ireland, you don't know what it tastes like, and it tastes fantastic. So I changed because they had, like, what do you call those machine drinks? Machine drinks of Club Zero. It's even better than bottles of Club Lemon Zero. Finish Top Gun, what do you think? Unreal. Out of 10? I'd give it a 10, you know. I, I haven't even seen the first one, but that was class. I'm gonna say Very eight. But only because, I'll whisper, only because. I don't, don't, don't want to tell them. Somebody! For God's sake. <laughs> um, now we're just gonna, we're gonna go home. Yeah. We're gonna go home and chill, watch a movie. Hmm? Chill, your roommate's not there, she will get the Netflix. <gasps> do you know what we should get? Mini eggs. Mini eggs. Mini eggs. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So today we're at Jamie Online, which is I didn't even know from Oma, local. Hi. Hello. Can you tell us what you're doing? Can you show us your vibes? Uh, so we saw that these clothes. Um, You're so class. Sorry, I've just like took over a wee bit here. So but um. All sorts. Yeah, and then they're mostly online, but they're just doing a wee pop-up shop here today. This is what I'm getting. Cute. So now I just drove down the road to, well, I'm in Strabane because I was going to my brother's house to give all the baby stuff. And then I'm going to Castle there to see my friends because my other friend's pregnant now. They're all pregnant. Literally like five of them were pregnant. So yeah, everyone's just having a baby. I'm so happy for everyone. I'm literally so excited to celebrate tonight because one of my friends like just told us and she was like going in for dinner. We were like, why are you taking us all for dinner? Like, what, like, like what's going on? Like, I fucking knew it. I know when people are pregnant. I think it's rather six sense or the fact that they drink all the time and the fact that they said no to all the drinking times. Like yesterday, last week I was in the bar and she never came into the bar and I was like, she hasn't seen me yet. And like, she's not in the bar. I was like, she has to be pregnant. Like, I can't do this. And like, this is my friend that like you wouldn't think you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't think she's pregnant. It's like a real surprise for us. And I was like, she's not here. She has to be pregnant. I was like, I fucking knew. And then she was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I told everyone now I can be with my friends. And she was like, I, she knew I couldn't have seen you. And she went like this. And she had like a full bump. And she's 12 weeks. So, anyway, baby talk. Can't cope. Um, so yeah, my weekend is just going to be, I'm going to go out with the girls for dinner. And go to the bar. Get Jack at the bar usual small town weekend saturday night 
and that's kind of it's kind of going to see mum and dad and the grand and grand all that jazz and go back up the road. I'm just loving my wee life at the moment, I have to say.